very quickly, I figured I'd show people the setup that I've sort of decided on for myself uh, to do game recordings. Uh, so obviously we have OBS Studio here for this inception because that's I'm looking at the same screen that OBS is on. And uh, so you've got your display capture. Uh, you shouldn't need to mess around with the settings much for this. I've got it set to display two, which is my larger monitor. Uh, if you've got two, more than one monitor, that is. Uh, and then I've also got the image set up, which is this. And you'll see why I've got that image in a second. And then to set up a display of the tabletop TO overlay, first of all, you need to go on the Tinter webs and you need to log in to the stream via however you want. I do it by Facebook. So that's just logged me in there because it's saved my details. And then I'm going to go into one of the older streams here because I don't have lists to hand to paste in. This is one of the previous streams that I was doing with dead things on one side and my damage on the other. And basically what you need to do is don't click on this, just right click it, copy the link address, like this, and then in your sources down here on OBS Studio, you go to add, then you go to browser. God, that looks weird with the uh, exception. Call it whatever you want. Then paste the URL link into here. Then it will be a funny shape. So you need to go back into properties. Then you need to change the width and height to what your screen is. So mine, for example, will be 1980. Oops, 1980 on the width and 1080. What am I on about? 1920, 1080p. Okay. There you go. Let's resize that and put it down either side. Uh, now I'll show you what the image is for because if I load up, let's see now. I'll just load up basic tabletop simulator. Won't take a moment for me. very quickly create something. I'm going to go on my, my display capture and just show you the other screen. The display one. I'm going to up X-Wing. There we are. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, obviously you'll be looking at your game. It'll there. Uh, and then I've now got my overlay down either side. But it doesn't look great. Well, for one, I usually delete all this on tabletop. Uh, but it doesn't look great because you've got all your stuff in the background. So what you do for this is go to your display capture in the sources. Go to filters. And then I have found that going left 640 and right 640 is about right. That's not. Oh, 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 okay. Maybe not. On a second. Maybe it was just like 60. That's being a bit weird. Six. Hmm. Fiddle about with that anyway, but as you can see there. Uh, it gives you, with the image behind, a nice bit of background and be able to see the text clearer. So if I go on to this and I'm going to make Luke Skywalker and Wedge and Thane be alive, but give them some health back, blah, 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 remove the crits. And because it's already linked to the overlay, see there that it just updates immediately it's really easy to use it's a bit hard if you're trying to concentrate on your own game and also do the overlay so if you can get a third pe person to actually commentate and control the overlay whilst recording then it's better uh, which is why some of my videos I, I'm delayed in getting the health correct and things like that but um, that's about it and I hope that helps